Hey guys, this is a video on hard surface modelling. Um, maybe you want to make a knight character or someone that would fit a fantasy game, but this is a video on how to make armour for it. Um, with a nice even topology and very low topology. Oh, very low polygon count. So the way I go about this is I get my character base. As you can see, it's five subdivisions. I then duplicate it. I then get that duplicated mesh. I delete the lower um, subdivisions just to get a high dense mesh to draw on. Then you want to click on the topology brush. Um, this is how you get nice clean topology and nice low topology for a character and how you make its um, piece of clothing or armor very light. So you want to draw an outline of it, of your armor piece. Yeah, so you want to get a first little outline of your piece of armor. You then want to draw a line down the middle and then draw lines across. You gotta be very careful when you're doing this because sometimes if you get, no, sometimes the line doesn't match or doesn't reach the other line, it's gonna mess up and yeah. So the more lines you do, the more smooth it's gonna be and it's gonna hit that outline that you made. Um, so for me, I'm gonna make a lot of lines, well, a lot of intersecting lines. Right, so when you've got your outline of what you want, you're gonna press the Alt key and click. That's gonna give you your piece of armor. I've noticed there's a problem there, so I'll delete that. Um, press Alt and there we go. There's some shoulder pads. If you want to change the thickness of, um, if you want to change the thickness of the subtool, you want to, you know, increase your draw size, and that's going to increase it. So for me, I want a very low one, um, or maybe I want one just to have no thickness. Maybe not. Maybe sixty-seven. Um, Right, there we go. So that, those are my shoulder pads. That's, yeah, you want to split unmasked points because they will be masked when you first get the mesh. What you'll see is we have two shoulder pads. Then want to go into Z Modeler. Check the polygons, you're gonna have different polygon, well, you have different poly groups for each side. So what I usually do is I delete that poly group and I delete that poly group. Just give me that outline there. You then want to move the polygons just so that it's not going through your base mesh or going through anything. Go back into the Z modeler and you're going to want to Q-Mesh, Polygroup All. And so you've got this nice sort of, you've got this nice model there. They're looking all right. Those shoulder pads would mainly pro probably be leather or, well, they wouldn't be metal. So the way you get them to look more you know, hard and make them look a bit more like metal would be get line fill, um, Q mesh, poly loop, bring that poly well, bring that poly loop out and bring that up like that. 
and you'll see you've got this nice edge going around. And then you're going to want to delete all these inside polys because they're not going to be seen on the model. So you delete poly group all, delete that poly group, and you've got a nice low poly count for this, um, these pieces of armor. If you really want, you can go into delete edge loop complete, delete that edge, and it's going to really decrease your polygon count. Then if you're making, you know, if you want to detail your armor, there was this nice um, ornament set in, on ArtStation. I'll link that below. But... Not not my package, but someone else's I bought. Um, but yeah, nice ornaments you can put on your armor. As you'll see, if you have a low polygon count, well, if you have that, and you try and draw on it. So an alright pattern, but it's very blurry, it's not very crisp. Um, so you want to increase your polygon count, maybe by one more subdivision. As you can see, it's still a little bit, you know, the edges still aren't that sharp. So I'm going to subdivide again and bring that up. As you can see, you've got these nice ornaments on your armor. You can bring that into Substance Painter, bake it down, and you're looking at 490 polys for both shoulder pads. This is very good because it can, you know, when you're making a game character, you want as low polygon count as you can. Um, so if you, topology, if you use a topology brush, it's going to make nice low um, polygons. You can even see remesh it beforehand if you really want. But I find that's a nice amount of polygons for shoulders. Then we go to subdivision 8, you have this nice decoration on it. And there you go. So that's an easy way to make armor and hard surface models inside a ZBrush. Um, I know it's a very short tutorial, but yeah, I thought it's very useful. There is one other thing that I should probably let you know about. If you're finding that these edges aren't that hard when you subdivide, um, you can go and see the easy modeler brush. Yeah, that's why that's why they're quite hard. Um, those lines are creased. So if I go into here and do crease edge loop, uh, edge loop complete. If I do, if I do that, and crease that entire edge. That edge, that, that. Yeah, if I, if I just crease that, it's going to crease the edge and make it a lot harder. So if you find that you have an edge which is, you know, not hard and it's smoothing out, you want to use the crease brush because that's going to make the edge a lot harder without increase in the polygon count so yeah i hope that tutorial was helpful in some way even if i did ramble on a bit um but if it was helpful uh leave a comment down below leave a like it would, it would help a lot so yeah that's my way of creating armor um so thank you and i'll see you in the next video